If you're wondering where Ted Cruz's stupidity comes from, look no further. Here's his dad discussing God. The Lord said to me, you know, the key to turning this country around is the pastors. The Lord took me to Ezekiel 317, which says, Son of man, I call you as a watchman on the wall, basically to do two things, to hear from me, that is to hear from God, and number two, to warn the people. And I felt very clearly that what God was saying to me, go tell my pastors to go warn my people. And you know, James, without my moving a finger, miraculously, God began to set up pastors' conferences all over this country. Last year, I did 11 pastors' conferences. Hmm. This year, I'll probably do at least 30. I've already done seven or eight in the first three months of this, of this year, and they're multiplying their schedule all the way to September. Mm -hmm. In Proverbs 29, 2, the Word of God tells us, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Mm -hmm. When the wicked rule, people mourn. And there has been a lot of mourning in America in the last five years. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that last part gets under my skin a lot because this is the oldest trick in the book. You don't have to debate the issues and the policies if you're willing to say, well, when the righteous people are in power, oh, it's great. But when the wicked are in power, like right now, it's wrong, it's bad, it's terrible. So vote for us. You see what they're doing? They're trying to say, our side is divinely inspired and we have God with us. And the other side, well, they're wicked and evil and immoral and unethical. So you can't vote for them. Look, you have to do God's bidding. You have to vote for us. Again, the oldest trick in the book, because you know what you're doing? You're conveniently making it so that none of the actual political issues matter. You're conveniently making it so that you don't have to discuss health care, you don't have to discuss the economy, you don't have to discuss your ideas for taxation, you don't have to discuss your ideas for foreign policy. You're making it so that, forget all that other stuff, just vote for us because God is with us. You know who does that trick also? The Taliban. That's literal. You know, and by the way, if you were to have uh, somebody saying that in uh, from the Middle East, wearing the traditional Mid Middle Eastern garb, um, saying it in a different language and saying it in front of a group of Muslims, OK, we would call that person a terrorist when it's, uh, oh, we have God with us and and uh, you can't the wicked are in power now. You need to vote for us. We're the we're the good people. Come on now. Let's get our shit together. So. Uh, just the idea that God speaks to Ted Cruz's dad. Man, if that's who God chose to speak to, I will actively not believe in God, even if he reveals himself to me. <laughs> I go, oh, you're the God, but you were speaking to Ted Cruz's dad? Yeah, mm, not gonna listen to you, buddy. <laughs> He can't be a very reasonable person uh, if, of everybody he had the opportunity to speak to, he goes to Ted Cruz's dad. Like, you could have went to Neil deGrasse Tyson, could have went to Stephen, Stephen Hawking, you could have went to, I don't know, any brilliant scientist, anybody who uh, is running a whole bunch of different charities and actually cares deeply about helping people in sub-Saharan Africa or wherever. It doesn't matter. If you chose, <clears throat> excuse me, to go to Rafael Cruz to talk to him, man, you're pretty fucking irrational. And don't you have more important things to do? That always pisses me off, too. The idea that that's how narcissistic people like uh, Rafael Cruz are. That he thinks, well, obviously God is speaking to me because I'm so special. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're, you're much more special than, I don't know, the problems facing the earth like kids with leukemia and natural disasters and extreme poverty and global warming and pollution and heart disease and strokes and whatever, man. The idea that you can actually convince yourself to think that the Almighty is talking to you as if there's not more important fucking things to get to, it's just so narcissistic. You're so full of yourself. Yeah, God speaks to you. God doesn't speak to you, okay? And you're not the righteous people. You're the silly people. If a Democrat were to go out there and say something that silly, the right would be all over it. You know, they'd laugh at them. But when it's somebody on their own team, they'd sit there and listen. Oh, yeah. Oh, tell me more. Oh, God was speaking to you? What did he say? Did he say Democrats suck? Oh, that sounds great. 